should not be surprised if the legislative and bureaucratic uh, approach develops. And that will not be a good thing because it will be impossible to keep up in the, in the age of the internet. And finally, I think the engagement of young people is one of the most possible de positive developments. Last year, uh, we, I think for the first time, heard the voices of young, young people and my colleague Andrew Miller uh, in the final session then uh, suggested that we should see uh, young people on the main stage this year. Uh, well, that hasn't quite happened, but what we have seen is uh, the engagement of uh, young people, their attendance at the, uh, at, at the IGF here in, in Vilnius, and a very positive contribution made by them. Uh, and I think we will see the development of the engagement of young people at that sort of more local and national level. Uh, and we as a, a process need to be open to the voices of young people. After, the, after all, they've grown up. Uh, with the internet, it's not something new to, uh, for them and very often their approach is quite different from that uh, of older, older people uh, and uh, one or two of the sessions here have focused on that question of youth engagement in a way that is most encouraging and I hope that we will see the direct voices of young people increasingly uh, I into every part of the IGF process uh, including uh, the events in future years which I sincerely hope uh, we will see taking place I believe in Kenya next year.